A candy company makes five different colors of candies. Find the sample proportion of candies that are green. Use that result to test the claim that 15% of the company's candies are green. Use the data in the table below, the p-value method, and a significance level of 0.05. If we click on this icon here, we will be able to view the candy weights. We are asked to conduct a hypothesis test about the proportion of the candies that are green. So that means how many of these are green out of the total number of candies. We are to test the claim that 15% of the company's candies are green. It's not asking us whether more than 15% or less than 15% are green, but rather is the population proportion equal to 0.15. Remember that the null hypothesis will always contain the equal sign. And since greater than or less than would be not equal to 0.15, then our alternative hypothesis should be P not equal to 0.15, and we have a two-tail test. Now we are to find the test statistic. So we will click the icon here, and then we will click the little rectangle and open the data in StatCrunch. We want to find the total number of observations and then the total that are green. So what we will do is click Stat, Summary Statistics, Columns, and then select all of the columns and click Compute. One of the measures that is given to us is the number of data values. So here in this column that says N, we're just going to add these up. 16 plus 24 plus 15 plus 16 plus 13 and wind up with a total of 84. So the total number of observations is 84, but the number of observations that have the characteristic that we are testing, which is whether or not they're green, is 16. So now to find the test statistic, we'll press stats, proportion stats, one sample with summary. There were 16 successes and 84 total observations. Our null hypothesis was that the proportion is 0.15, and it's a two-tail test, so we'll leave the alternative hypothesis symbol as not equal to. Then we'll press Compute. The Z-stat is 1.04 if we round to two decimal places. The p-value is 0.2988. So we will record this as 0.299 if we round to three decimal places as specified in the problem. Remember that if the p-value is less than alpha, we should reject the null hypothesis. What we found is a p-value of 0.299. Alpha is 0.05. So the p-value is not less than alpha. So we should fail to reject the null hypothesis. So our selection will be A, fail to reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is greater than the significance level alpha. Now we will state our conclusion. Since we did not reject the null hypothesis, we should say that there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that 15% of the company's candies are green. So our choice would be B.